Would you believe me if I told you that a weasel was responsible for putting humanity into an alternate timeline? Yeah, a freaking weasel. Now, you might believe me, you might not believe me, you might think I'm crazy, but I am not crazy. Instead, you might think this is the dumbest possible claim that I could ever make, or you might think that this claim could change your life. Regardless of whatever you're thinking, I hope you're gonna take the time with me today as we go on a little adventure, as we delve deep into a conspiracy theory about how a weasel changed the world. We're gonna start this video off by getting a bit real, a bit serious if you will. If you've been alive long enough to remember the year 2016, then you and everyone else has probably noticed something interesting. Has the world just declined since then? We're not gonna delve deep into this, mostly because this channel is not about politics. We're here about whimsy, about fun, about playing. But anyways, regarding the decline of the world, there is an argument to be made as to whether or not the world has actually declined. A New York Times article in 2022 actually addressed this very question and came to the conclusion that compared to the last couple of decades, the world is, statistically, better off than it was before. War is rarer, genocides are less common, hunger has declined, and so has child mortality. Extreme poverty has too, and generally life expectancy has risen dramatically. Regardless of whether or not the world is actually improving or not, the writer, Max Fisher, put it in a very simple and descriptive way, saying, quote, we tend to judge how we are doing compared to those around us, or compared to our own recent past, not compared to abstract benchmarks or previous generations." End quote. They're essentially just stating that if you were born in the 21st century, you're aware of events like World War II and how catastrophic it was, but it's hard to relate it to your own life because it didn't really affect you. The vast majority of us alive today never lived through it. If you're interested in reading more about it, I've put the link in the description. Anyways, back to the whimsical world of the Moldbun channel. Have you ever heard of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN's Accelerator Complex? You likely have. And for some who have, they believe that it has the power to affect reality itself, leading to a variety of conspiracy theories, which we'll get to shortly. Now, to better understand how a weasel could literally change the world, it's first important to know what the Large Hadron Collider actually is. In the simplest way to put it, the Large Hadron Collider is a particle accelerator that exists as a 16-mile circular ring encompassing a series of superconducting magnets nearly 600 feet underground near Geneva. Yeah, I know, it's a mouthful, and it sounds like it's something from Portal. Really, to explain any further is just to get way too sciencey, especially for us, so we're not gonna do it. Just go watch Vsauce or something. What's important to understand is that, one, it was very expensive, and two, its ultimate purpose is to test predictions and theories related to particle physics, which all lead to the ultimate question of essentially how physics, atoms, and the universe at a fundamental level all actually work. That's enough science speak for now. Let's get to the juicy bit, just that little tender piece that's waiting to be bit into, like a nice little steak you order at Chili's or something for 10 bucks. Why would a weasel change the world, and how could it? And why is it related to the Large Hadron Collider? Well, on April 29th, 2016, the Large Hadron Collider had a problem. An electrical transformer short-circuited at 5.30 in the morning, resulting in electrical problems and the subsequent shutdown of the collider while it was already running. As it turns out, maintenance crews found the remains of an animal in the electrical facilities of the site, which appeared to have been gnawing on cables. The result of this was an electrical arc which caused slight damage to some of the connections in the collider. And as it turns out, the remains of the creature were presumed to be a weasel, a tiny little weasel, which sacrificed its life to temporarily shut down a 16-mile, 38,000-ton machine. Now, the reason I say presumed remains is because it was so fried and charred from the electrical current that at the time, they didn't really know what it was other than something that resembled a mammal. What's particularly interesting is all this happened while scientists were using the collider to further do research into undiscovered particles and the already discovered Higgs boson, a so-called god particle, a name given as it was believed that it gave other particles mass. These are the particles that are theorized to literally give mass to the fundamental building blocks that make up the universe. Yeah, it's pretty damn important. After this whole event happened, the weasel was disposed of, the collider was repaired, and life went on. But 
things started to change. Odd and absurd events started happening. Things that were unthinkable like the 2016 election happened. And as such, conspiracy theories started to emerge regarding this single event and this one single weasel. Some conspiracy theorists believe that when this weasel caused the shutdown of the Hadron Collider, it caused a rift in space and time, resulting in our timeline changing to the so-called weasel timeline. The main distinction of this timeline is that many people seem to be disillusioned with reality, a consequence of being from a different universe. Some even believe that instead of people being from a different universe, we're the ones from a different universe. Now, the reasoning for the events that occurred during and after 2016 are often attributed to the death of Harambe, which believers of the weasel theory think was initiated following the actions of the weasel, as Harambe was killed not even two weeks after the incident took place. One poster in particular on Reddit didn't seem surprised. They claimed that CERN was attempting to open interdimensional gateways, but albeit this is just a theory and there is literally no evidence of this being correct whatsoever. So yeah, there is indeed a portion of the population that believes in the conspiracy theory that a weasel is in fact at fault for putting our world into an alternate timeline. Now, it's easy enough to come up with a theory about this being true, but it also begs the question as to whether or not the Large Hadron Collider could actually change our timeline. There is not a specific answer related as to whether or not CERN could actually do this. That being said, the CERN website actually does have an excerpt about this exact idea, the idea that other dimensions can exist, in addition to existing dimensions like space and time. In the simplest terms, by testing for particles that can only exist if extra dimensions are real, we would have to find heavier versions of standard particles in other dimensions. Funny enough, the only way to determine this is by the energy created specifically by the Large Hadron Collider. One theory also states that when the Higgs boson particle was discovered, it could have destabilized the Higgs field causing false vacuum decay, which is a theory that states our universe is not as stable as is believed, and may one day decay into something new, somewhat akin to the Big Bang. And guess what they were studying when the weasel disabled the collider? The Higgs boson. Now, if a weasel did in fact change the timeline we were destined to fulfill, there is a theory that states we're actually not in the bad timeline, but the best, or least worst one there is. Sure, we could have been transported to a worse timeline, but we have also been transported to a timeline where things are better. After all, I did state at the beginning of the video how quality of life is getting better, hunger is going down, and wars are less frequent even in 2023. Of course, there is also the idea that the weasel chewed the cable, short circuited the transformer, and nothing. This is it. Nothing really happened, and at the end of the day, it truly is just a conspiracy theory which, while it does have some evidence to support it, doesn't really have any foundation in reality. After all, if the world did actually change, there's not much we can do to turn it back, so to speak. This is the world we have, and we should treat it with the utmost respect, because guess what? This is it. Do I personally believe in the theory? It's hard to say. I don't necessarily think it's outright false, at least to me without any rational thinking or logical reasoning I could easily see why this could actually be true. But without a better understanding of quantum physics I also don't really know how it could even be true. I'm not a redditor. But at the same time it's fun to think about, and without anything actually contradicting the theory, what is there to necessarily actually disprove that it is real? So yeah, now you know. There is in fact a conspiracy theory about a weasel who temporarily disabled the Large Hadron Collider and resulted in our world transferring to an alternate timeline. Isn't that just lovely? Yeah, it's been a little bit since I've made a video, and this is a bit different from my normal content, but hold on tight. Hold on to your pants, because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out in the next few weeks. And not only that, it's going to be much, much more frequent. There's also not one, but two! mega projects currently in the work that'll show up uh, sooner than later probably anyways if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe make sure to turn on push notifications and follow me on twitter or x if you really want for all updates regarding my videos you're not going to want to miss it because we got real cool stuff coming down the line peace out